Hi there, here's Kakaku with a new Computercraft Turtle program for you. And actually it's a very specific one because you can use it in the awesome mod pack Create Above and Beyond. I'm currently playing along with Direwolf 20 and I really like this mod pack. And at one situation I got to a point where I thought, oh, this would be really tricky to automate with Create. So I chose a turtle and it's the producing the mass producing production of the quantum entangled singularities that's here in no not f3 uh, but here in chapter number three here uh yeah the reactor which produces yeah as i said the quantum entangled singularities uh, it can quite be a hassle to to uh, as they don't stack to manage all of them but with the turtle it's going yeah quite well and i don't know maybe maybe there are also other mod packs where you have to uh, must produce quantum entangled singularities then maybe this program also helps there so let's have a look where does the turtle sit it's down here uh, inside a three by three obsidian tube on top is a dispenser with TNT and the program requires a certain yeah, in and output management. I'm using here pretty pipes. So for the uh, before the explosion, the turtle needs, uh, okay, I stopped the program, but it shouldn't, should work still. Uh, let's start it without parameters. Uh, automated create above and beyond reactor and there's yeah the a, a small brief description this program is used in the pack create above and beyond to manage the explosion reactor that produces quantum entangled singularities requires a special pipe, pipe setup i will show you later by default it produces 16 pairs per explosion you can start the program with up to two parameters first is the number of items to be used so it will use uh, singularities and enter dust and the default is as i said uh, 16 so 16 of each the second parameter is the waiting time per item there's later a phase where the turtle waits and yeah this determines this waiting time times the number of items how long the turtle will wait and important if you start the program with two parameters the program will run in an infinite loop we will test this then after the, this run and then a very compact, I'll show you later uh, uh, in, in, in the world uh, how to set it up. Set up, uh, put turtle in the wall of the 3x3 obsidian tube, a dispenser with TNT above, the turtle connected with red LR wire. Turtle emits to the left a redstone signal to disable the provi provider types. I'll, I'll show you this. Pipes also need to export the produced quantum entangled singularities. Pipes connect at the turtle's back. And now it starts. Uh, it's, it's pauses it has cleared the redstone signal to the left that was the reason that uh, the pretty pipes didn't pump in items but now as it goes it counts up to 16 each and it drops it or blocks the input drops the item fires the dispensers waits for the boom sucks in the results 16 times 16 is the ideal uh, number because then it's uh, always safe uh, because the turtle has 16 inventory slots and it waits 16 times times uh, 16 seconds times 3 uh, 48 seconds and after half of the time so in this case 24 seconds it checks if the first and the second slot is empty if yes then it already unlocks the input and while the one pipe still pipes out the produced singularities. The other pipes uh, fill it in with the uh, materials for the next boom. But as we started it without two parameters, um, it will stop after this. 
Okay. So and and if if it's in an infinite loop, it will wait until it's empty here. But uh, before we do this, I show you more details about the setup. So yeah, the turtle fires the dispenser by giving a redstone signal to the top, and it blocks the input by giving a redstone signal to the left. This means I've got two input pipes, uh, the enter dust here, pretty pipes. It's a extraction module and important is here the redstone module and connection. And as well here, here it's in the hopper. Again, extraction module and redstone module and down here is the redstone line. And back here, uh, the produced uh, singularities will be sucked in. Okay, uh, then let's give it a start with 16 items and oh, maybe the 16 items is here is a limiter with this number. So 16 and 2.8 is a good number for my setup. And now it's in an infinite loop. As before, block the input, drop the item, fire the signature, wait for boom, suck in the results, while the first singularities are already exported. And after half of the waiting time, 22.4 seconds, um, the turtle checks and will release again the input. And when the input items is already both at 16 count, uh, you will see there's still some singularities left. Uh, then, but it starts then the second loop, um, but checks for yeah, the spaces that they are empty. So it will wait until everything is really empty, so that for the next explosion it's uh, yeah, empty and ready to suck in 16 times uh, these pairs of singularities. So here, slot 13, 14, 15 is not empty, 15, 14, 15 not empty, and so on. And now it's ready, block input, drop items by dispenser, waiting for boom, sucking in results, and so on and so on. So this goes over and over. Uh, there is one thing that could mess up the system and I will try to do something differently because if uh, my storage here is already filled up, um, singularities might come back and enter the turtle and must mess up the ingredients slots number one and two. If this is the case, uh, then yeah, just fix it uh, manually. Uh, I will try out later, so not in the video, I think you can also use the turtle one block outside uh, this, this reactor and then you've got more space for, for import export and I will try to have a belt going uh, outside here to the, to the right side uh, because then uh, there, will no flowing, there will be no flowing back of singularities. You just have to ensure that the redstone signal up and left uh, works as well. Okay. I think this is actually what I wanted to, to show, boom, and I hope, well, if you try out this awesome mod pack, uh, give this program a, a, a chance, and yeah, see you soon in the next, yeah, so, uh, if it's soon, I'm not sure, see you in the next video, bye-bye. <laughs>